Here we go, chat. This right here is the new agent trailer. Apparently, their name is Ko. Get a move on, agent. The world doesn't have all day. So far, we're halfway through. I feel like this reminds me of that movie, I wanna say Edge of Tomorrow or whatever with Tom Cruise where it's like, you die and you come back to life. Like it, to, to me, the beginning, it looked like he was like going back in time and like going through the same thing over and over again, like learning all of like what happens and how he has to control it. Obviously there's no time travel in a game like this. Like you can't just rewind time, but maybe he comes back from dead. Let's keep watching. Has a flashbang. Is that a Molly? Let's go back a second. Looks like some kind of a Molly. Right? Maybe? That's a flash. Okay. Odin. Time to kill some radiance. So I wonder what this is, because he dies and he has like a timer on his on his death. Okay, very interesting. Chat is saying it's an EMP, but I don't know. So I don't know what his alt does. I'm not sure. His he looks like he has a flash on either a molly or a grenade, whatever, either one. And we don't really know. I can't really tell from the video. And then there's got to be some kind of an ability that lets him come back to life. Whether it's a revived... Maybe that's his ult. If he pops his ult and he dies, he comes back to life in 15 seconds or whatever that was. I don't really know. KO abilities. E. Zero point. Official tool tip. Equip a suppression blade. Oh yeah, the knifey. The knifey boy. The Fire to throw. The blade sticks to the first surface it hits, winds up, and suppresses anyone in the radius of the explosion. Now, what is suppress exactly? Is that a, basically an ability silence? You can't... Does that mean you can't actually use any abilities? Or is that like a like, like stun? Like breach E? I think it might be... I'm not sure. Flash drive. Equip a flash grenade. Fire to throw. The grenade flashes. The flash grenade explodes after a short fuse, blinding anyone in sight. Right clicking throws a charged flash, causing it to only cook for one second, as opposed to left clicking. Okay, so you can, it's like a, it's like CS. You can left click to throw it far, right click to throw it short. It's a silence. Okay, that's cool. Fragment. Fires an explosive fragment. The fragment sticks to the floor and explodes multiple times, dealing near lethal damage at the center with each explosion. Near lethal? 
What does it do? 100 damage every tick? That sounds crazy. And finally, his ultimate. Instantly overload with polarized radiantite energy that empowers KO and causes large energy pulses to emit from his location. Enemies hit with these pulses are suppressed. So this is like an AoE, an AoE EMP because it causes him to be suppressed. While overloaded, KO gets combat stim. So it's basically Reyna ult. If KO is killed while ulted, he is downed and enter a destabilized state, allowing allies to stabilize, stabilize his core and revive him. Chat, this means Jet can actually revive her teammates. Well, just the KO, but that said, the Jet Revive Me meme is now not a meme anymore. Interesting. Do we know how many charges it takes for his ult? How many orbs or how many points? Is it a six or a seven? Or we don't know exactly, at least here. Okay. Sounds pretty insane, especially in a. I wonder. So, what does this mean? Does this. Is his EMP essentially his pulses? Does it disable abilities or only disables the enemies like if you alt and you run into the bomb site will it disable all abilities or uh, we don't know gotta test it some sometime whenever he comes out and then his alt seems pretty good i mean you only have 15 seconds to to res so it's like ko alts ko runs in it's, it's probably like it's probably like phoenix alt you hear the alt you know that guy's gonna run in because they have to freak said it was seven free like riot freak my boy it disables all abilities so would disable mollies? How, what about if there's poison on the floor or like a brim molly? Would it disable that or how does it work? So it's, I feel like it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like Phoenix ult. You pop her, you pop his ulti, you, you know that guy's going to run in because you have probably until the end of it to, uh, to die. And then if he dies, you have to have teammates like right behind him. Like imagine a KO ult and a Phoenix ult. That's seven, seven bodies you have to kill. Two from the Phoenix. I mean, I guess po po technically maybe not two from the KO, but probably two from the KO as well. And KO is stemmed out of his mind. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This Asia might be really insane for a second duelist spot. I don't think he would be picked over Jet, but I feel like a second duelist, it might be good. Like Jet KO or... Who would you drop to run that though? Most of the time, the teams that run double duos, it's usually Jet Phoenix or Jet Rays. So you'd probably drop a Rays or Phoenix for him. But his ult is pretty cracked. The thing is, he doesn't have a flat. He does have a flash actually. So he does have a Molly technically too. And his ult is basically like Phoenix ult, except it's it might probably be harder to trade than Phoenix ult. Because if you don't res him in time, it might be weird. And. Yeah, I don't know. He seems like an upgraded Phoenix to me, maybe. I understand that he is an initiator. I, I mean, we, we've talked many times, Chad, about how uh, I feel like the actual the, the actual role, the, the, the role name that Riot gives them doesn't matter. Like, just be, it, it, whether he's an initiator or a sentinel or whatever, you can play a sentinel as a duelist. It's not like, a, I mean, Sage is technically a sentinel and a lot of people play Sage super aggressively. So putting, like... Saying that the, he's a duelist, that doesn't mean anything to me. There's different play styles. You put me on a duelist, I'm going to be baiting. I'm going to be playing a, like a support duelist. You put me on a, you know, an, like an initiator like Sova or whatever Sova is considered. Um, I don't even know what Sova is considered. Then, I mean, you know I'm playing passive. But if you put someone that's, if you put a Suna on Sova, guess what? He's playing Sova like a duelist. So I don't really care very much what Riot calls them. I think it's, I don't, I just don't care. So, yeah, I feel like his abilities are kind of dualist, dualisto. That's it's dualist sound damage.